So we're now here at Fully Charged. This is the third day. This is the uh, afternoon of the third day. And I think Robert Llewellyn is a bit really sort of, I don't know, fully discharged fully, by no, now? No, I've still got about, I'm about 20% left. 20% SOC yeah. Robert Llewellyn. <laughs> um, Rob, this is an extraordinary gathering of people. And uh, for all the people that come here, you mentioned the friendliness, the exchanges of views, the kind of potential joint ventures with companies, yeah, you yeah. know, as commercial as well as, you know, personal sort of journeys and things. How do we take this from here and put it into the bigger world? How yeah. do we how do we find it, you know, in boardrooms and with politicians and all those sort of things? How do we make that happen? I mean it's gotta be you know, what you have to hope, what I hope, but I think it's it's a you know partly forlorn hope, but I think it's it will slowly happen is that the enthusiasm and, and concentration of interest here does spread yeah because it's because it you know the, the always the danger with this sort of thing it's just inside the bubble and it's yeah. reassure everyone's reassuring each other and it's all marvelous yes and outside yes. there's a massive problem that we're not dealing with at yes all. and it but I think what happens is there's enough people here for that for their connections yeah to, to, to leak into the you're hoping for contagion then aren't yeah, you? yeah a bit contagion. of contagion yeah I want a bit of a yeah. virus to spread no. but I mean you know it, and we're starting to hear that you know the, the one of the talks yesterday was you know minerals extraction companies so yeah. mining companies Simon Moore Simon Moore yeah, and they're yeah. kind of they're now saying in their boardrooms and at their yeah. annual conferences we've got to do something about this yeah. we've, we've got to be seen as ethically trading and it's all there's going to be the same thing we had with yeah. greenwash and all that but the conversation is starting to make an impact in into the wider world and that's yeah. a really important thing well the, the, the important thing for me that i think is happening is that younger people now have hugely equip themselves with a sense and a perspective of the future yeah. in terms of what's going on and the moment this morning when Charlotte came on the yeah. stage and you were tearful about I know, that, I and that was, you know, I was trying really trying not to everything else that. I've seen you do you haven't been teary I mean yeah. you might later on when I'm like banging on about China but <laughs> but, but apart from that um, that for me is I, I think when you look at the impact Greta Thunberg's had yeah. when you look at uh, young people like Charlotte when you, you look at that and I think there's in the boardrooms around the world, all the big company executives, politicians, their children and grandchildren yeah. now, yeah. they're the lobbyists yes. for this yes. stuff. Would yes, you agree? Would absolutely. You think that's no, I mean, I think that because you, how, no matter how cynical you are and how knowing yeah. and, and a sort of political operator, and you're confronted with a 12 year old who goes, It's bad for my brain and yeah. my lungs. Yeah. You go, Yes, well, it's a very complicated problem. Yeah. No, it's yeah. bad for my brain, and there's no doubt about it, and yeah. there's no argument. Shut up and do something about it. Yeah. You know? And I think that is a that is her, in a way, the Greta influence. Yeah. You know, it's very easy to dismiss her, and she's just a kid from Sweden. And what well, I she think knows? she's hugely but important. But she's had a massive, impact. massively important yeah. individual. Yeah. Right, we better go. We better go and do stuff. Some yeah, good. Thanks very much. Yeah. We'd uh, talk to you again. Yeah.